Good morning. Morning, Ive. Well, sir, today is the day. Yes. <laughs> you know, Ive, this is the happiest day of my life. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes. Yes. Pardon me, ladies and gentlemen. I want to interrupt this program for a very important news flash. It is with pleasure that I announce that Mr. Oliver Norval Hardy is to be married today at high noon to the only daughter of that well-known oil magnate, Mr. Peter Cucumber. The wedding is to be held at the bride's home and will be one of the highlights of the social season. You may remember that Mr. Hardy started with his firm as elevator boy and with grim determination worked his way up to the top. And after the winning today, he becomes general manager of this vast organization. It may also be interesting to know that Mr. Stan Laurel, who has been the lifelong friend, advisor, and severest critic who guided Mr. Hardy to the pinnacle of success is to be the best man. Mr. Laurel says that after viewing the situation from all sides, he is thoroughly reconciled to the fact that the moving picture industry is still in its infancy. Mr. Laurel also states that technocracy, whilst it may appear to be the center of all... Hi. Uh, yes, sir. As soon as Mr. Laurel arrives, call a taxi. Yes, sir. Uh, just a moment. Get me some fresh toast. Certainly, sir. Oh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Lovely morning for the wedding, isn't it, sir? Mr. Laurel says. Did you get everything? Here's the railroad ticket. And uh, I got the ring. Got the ring. And, and the flowers, I ordered those, and they'll be over there in time for the wedding. Now, why did you get two tickets to Chicago when you know that I wanted to spend my honeymoon in Saskatchewan? Well, the man said there was no such place as Squat. All right, all right. Never mind. What's that? What? That. It's a surprise. Well, what is it? I don't want to tell you. Let me... What's that under your arm? Your other arm. This. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a wedding present I bought for you. Now, isn't that thoughtful? What is it? Guess. I haven't got time to guess. Open it and show it to me. Why did you have to buy a thing like that? Well, now that you're going to be married, you won't be going out much at night, and I thought it'd be something for us to play with. My playing days are over. My time is too valuable to waste on such childish felderdash. Don't you realize that I'm about to become a big oil magnet? <laughs> you know what a magnet is, don't you? Sure, a thing that eats cheese. Mm. I beg your pardon, sir. I ordered your taxi. It'll be here right away. Uh, thank you. I've sprayed my baggage now. Yes, sir. Let's try. Put that thing away and let's get ready to go. Oh, hi. Yes, get my hat and gloves. Yes, sir.
Yes, he's here, sir. That's fine. Tell him to get my package. Yes, sir. Come on, get your hat and gloves. Come on, we haven't much time. Come on, please. Go in and see what's happened to that driver. Will you please come on? Don't you understand? I've got to get going. Okay, Fatty, I'll be with you in just a minute. Gotcha. Now, just a little more straight edge. you've got everything? You sent the flowers, and you've got the rings. Oh, Daddy, whatever could have happened to me? Oh, my dear, dry those pretty eyes. Remember, better late than never. <laughs> Order my cup. 
I may have some use for this. Pizza goes in there. You glad I told you to hide? Thank you. I guess the wedding's off. I'll be good. Here's that telegram that came for you. Hand me the phone. Something important? Yes, hand me the phone. Again, ladies and gentlemen, another news flash. After a 
sensational rise today in the stock market, the great international horse collar corporation took a tremendous crash and failed. This will mean the loss of millions to its investors. More good news later, the happy hour program will now continue. Don't worry. Prosperity is just around the corner. What do you mean, don't worry? Get out of here. I understand. You want to be alone with your thoughts. 